she millions of uh, PhDs come out of the Kava Circle. <laughs> And you, and you know what's hilarious? It's kind of hilarious, but sad at the same time. Because I've seen this happen so many times, unfortunately, we have some of our brothers and even our sisters who, who come through, they go through their educational process. When they are in need or, the, you know, sometimes to pay for their schools and stuff, guess where do they go to get help sometimes? You know what I mean? They'll go to the Kalapus and they'll raise money. And then once they make it, quote unquote, then all of a sudden they kind of see Olalo to the look down on the Kalapu guys and all that. When I'm like, wait a second, man, a lot of these guys uh, pretty much funded your education, took care of you, gave you a job over the summer. So, you know, you, you, you don't want to forget the, the people that helped you up the ladder. No, And so. then the thing about PhDs, I, I find it too, that when it comes to giving too, when they, once they get their degrees and have their job, the Kava guys are a lot more giving when it comes to, supporting their village and still paying for school fees back in yep. Tonga. So I mean the Kava Kava guys, man, they're they're very giving people.